Well, welcome back. This is part two of the AOSCAN Digital Body Analyzer, the NLS system uh, from Alive Innovations and in conjunction with Energy Development. We're going to look at the vital scan initially here. We want to demonstrate that. Um, one thing that uh, we mentioned earlier, we talked about inputting a client in. Uh, as you can see, we're just going to recap this. Um, you can input the client's information here. It's very important all of this information be correct, formatted exactly how it's done here. Once that's entered into the system, we click back and the technician is also selected. We uh, hit back here and go into the vital scan. <clears throat> During the vital scan, we can simply start scanning. As this process goes on, the body or the system is currently scanning uh, uh, really thousands and thousands of different points in the body to get um, an accurate reading with what is going on and what challenges the body is facing. Uh, this process is uh, frequency based. We're looking for energy, subtle energy differences in the body and how the body responds to stimulus and then it measures it in uh, a report. That report then is generated, <coughs> looks just like this. So this is John Doe, a report that we a um, already did on John Doe. This is in demo mode, so it's not actually real, but it gives you a good idea of what's going on. The first uh, sample here, we find allergens in um, allergen health here. We see that uh, in this case, mountain cedar, there's some um, sensitivities. Now really, we see this is an active sensitivity and uh, that it's generating a, a lower grade immune response. So usually before we review the report, um, uh, I usually recommend uh, if they are sitting with you and are willing to do frequency optimization, you can actually click on this button here that, do, that does the frequency optimization. And the frequency optimization automatically looks for these high items and generates a frequency uh, that will correct and help stimulate the body to either detox against those items and or uh, uh, build up the body's immunity towards those items. Once you start doing that, um, you'll notice that these items actually change and we can see, I'll show you the frequency optimi optimization shortly, but after the optimization is done, you'll see that this, uh, this setting here is actually a little bit um, we see some changes here where five demonstrates a balanced and normal viewpoint. Now depending on the report that you're in, these can develop, you can see high readings and low readings. Either one is not good, <clears throat> but depending on the report you'll see some higher sensitivities and some low sensitivities. Like we saw earlier, the mountain um, tree here uh, we can see was, let me just scroll down here a little bit. Uh, the mount, uh, mountain cedar tree we have here is was a positive and that positive is now gone but we see uh, it in the frequency optimization actually adjusted it up to a three so it's getting more towards that balance state but this would represent a low grade uh, immune response now the we can also go through here and see that in this demo case as an example there is an <coughs> in the previous scan which you see up here there was an active uh, um, issue and this active issue was uh, there's a report it just finished generating I'm going to go back over here there's an active issue and this issue uh, was uh, helped and supported by the frequency optimization and actually moved to a 7 so closer to that normal range and that's really what we want sometimes we see these stay those represent issues that we need to focus on and uh, the higher sensitivity. So this one is a set. Now this could be some drug that they're on over the counter or otherwise. Um, going through, looking at the allergy sensitivities here. Um, and uh, what we're going to do is uh, with this allergy sensitivity, this is great for the food. So you can see that not only do we have drug sensitivities, but now these seafood, there is some slight sensitivity. Now it's not an active issue, but there is some slight sensitivities going on. So we know that there's either it could be a way with how the person is breaking down the food. Uh, it could be that they're having too much of it. Uh, they're developing some type of, of inflammatory response. It could be related to just a, a, a histamine reaction or something of that nature with them. We're going to continue to review this report in the next video. So stand by.